Hi guys, it's Unique. Welcome back to my channel. Thanks so much for joining. I'm gonna show you how I do a blowout at home using these Huawei products. We're gonna do a little unboxing. I'm gonna show you what tools I use. And I'm not a pro at blow drying by any means, but I think I give myself a damn good blowout. Sometimes it's important to be your own dry bar. So you're gonna need a couple items. I'm gonna show you what I have on my table. A Dyson hair dryer. These are all from Amazon. I also have a T3 paddle brush. I'm gonna be brushing my hair out with this now. I use a hot brush. This is uh, by Amika. I'll show you guys how I use it at the end. So I took the turban out of my hair. Uh, this is a like t-shirt turban. It's supposed to reduce frizz. I'm just gonna use this to squeeze my ends. This Kigo Professional Small Barreled duo brush so it's nylon and bore uh, this one is also nylon and bore and it is from spornet uh, this is also from spornet and it is just a bore brush i don't think i really truly need this but maybe at the end for some smoothing and some clips and stuff to section my hair off so i'm gonna start by brushing my hair So we're gonna go ahead and unbox these Whey products. We have the texturizing hairspray, the memory mist, the rose hair and body oil, and the leave-in conditioner. Look how cute these are. So first off, I like to start with the leave-in conditioner. Multitasking leave-in mist that works all day to smooth, soften, and detangle hair. Mist lightly through damp hair prior to brushing and or heat styling for added conditioning, thermal protection, and control. So I'm just gonna spray this oops, really generously. It smells divine. I like to really make sure like the product is completely worked through the hair just by like running my fingers through and just like breaking it in, break it in. I feel like this is a good way for me to gauge how saturated my hair is so that I can determine how much more I need to spray. So I could use a little more and don't hug that side too much. All right, that should be good. And then I'm just gonna spray a little bit of the Memory Mist next. So the Memory Mist you can use on dry hair or you can use it on wet hair. This multitasking priming spray adds heat protection, shine, and long-lasting memory to any look. So I'm gonna just spray a little bit, brush everything through again, just to make sure the product is coating every hair strand. Okay. First, I like to do this under part because my hair gets very curly in this area especially where I sweat and by my neck. So I start with this section. Okay, I'm just gonna use this to section it. And then I'm gonna go in with the Spornet brush. Um, I will link everything below. Next, I like to do my bangs. Um, I go in first with this little brush and just brush the bangs forward that I need to blow dry. And then I start with this little brush, but this is actually too small of a brush to fully dry my bangs because then they just get super curly. So I'll use this one at the end, but I'm gonna start with this one just to do these like little pieces on the side and really like get close to the root. Obviously, this would be easier if I put the rest of my hair back. So let's do that. I'm just gonna take a big clip. That looks about right. So again, I'm just gonna go in on those little hairs on the side. Okay, 
It looks a little crazy right now, but I am gonna get into it later. So now it's time to continue with my hair. I'm gonna put that up with this clip. And then I'm gonna section these two areas. We are getting there. I definitely need to get my hair toned. The final stretch, y'all. Okay, so now I'm gonna go through it all with this um, board bristle brush. It is strictly for. So the brush. See if I missed any parts that are frizzy. Okay, friends, we're at a different angle now. Okay, so here's my hair, like all blown out. As you can see, it's like a little frizzy, um, but that's just the texture of my hair. Plus, I have it colored, so it's just a little bit more dry these days. I'm gonna go in with the Way Rose Hair and Body Oil and a couple pumps will do. It helps with the frizz. I definitely need a haircut um, because as you can see, like my hair is thicker here and then it just gets like thinner here. So a haircut will do me good. Not done with my blowout yet. I am gonna go in with that hot brush that I showed you guys earlier. Um, just to smooth out any edges. I don't use a straightener that much anymore, um, but I do like this thing. It goes up all the way to 450. I do it at like about 410 or so. And it just looks like that and it makes a funny little sound, but you can't really hear it, so it's not bothersome. And the hot brush is just gonna smooth out my hair without it being getting too stick straight, like with a straightener. And I'm just brushing it through, especially the baby hairs around my face. My bangs, but not too much or else they get too straight. Honestly, I can turn this down a little bit more because I hear it smell my hair burning. I'm gonna go down to 390. And the last and final product in the Way box was the texturizing hairspray. And since my hair is straight, I don't really need a bunch of this, but because I did smooth it out a lot, I'm gonna bring back some of that texture. I might even spray my bangs.
And then I'm gonna add a little bit more of the oil because I feel like my ends are still dry with my color. And you don't wanna put too much on the root, but it is okay to saturate your ends, in my opinion. And then I just go like once over with the head. So that's the final look. What do you guys think? Do you like it? Did you not like it? Did I make this easy for you to understand? Let me know. Thanks for watching.